I think you do, but we know you don't. I said that. I actually said that. I said, you know, you got your Bible and all that. I said, hey, listen. I said, it's okay with me. We love you. I love you. We love you anyway. So we, we know what's going on. We're okay. We just love you for who you are. Be you. So, I get done with it. Prophesying to the president is Isaiah 45. Sign this call. Thank you, Jason. Which is really funny because then the New York Times, liberal Fox magazine, DOA, not Fox. I, uh, two, three weeks ago, I'm getting hit with all the media. I got these, you know, Google alerts. Jim Garland told me, don't get Google alerts. You can find out what they're saying about you. Oh, cool. I should be, I should be activated. Anyway, so I'm watching, well, my name's coming up in these articles like, uh, Evangelical Lance Wallman all says, uh, you know, Donald Trump is Osiris. This is what they call vessel theology, and this is like the bizarreness of Christians. They they put somebody into a vessel mode, and then whatever they're doing, they can get away with it because they think they're a vessel. And I mean, I go, that's not even, that's what I said. I never said that. And there's, I'm being quoted here for stuff I never said. And like, um, while that's happening, Benjamin Netanyahu goes to the White House. And he does as a meeting with the press. He says, Mr. President, we Jews have a long memory. And after your historic move of the embassy announcement to Jerusalem, we remember Cyrus of old, who also made that decree. And while the article is coming out, Netanyahu reading, Netanyahu headlines, Netanyahu likens Donald Trump to Cyrus. They have a coin. Uh, from the Sanhedrin that has been released of Cyrus's out outline and Donald Trump's profile, like Mount Rushmore on top of each other. Lovely. So the same week I'm getting Thank a hit you, Jesus. for my Cyrus insanity, then Yahoo comes and confirms that he's true. <laughs> Thank so, you. When it's all over, Donald Trump he comes up, you know, it seems to work if I keep Everybody blowing on the camera. These people are smart. They're all going down. They all got Fox and CNN. They're all Holy they Spirit, all wind blow. In the elevator and some heat. So I'm walking out, but uh, Donald Trump comes over to me and goes, I want, I want to tell you something. What you said in there, this is interesting, because you got to understand, in, in like uh, Christian circles, we have kind of like code language. Yeah. So it's like if somebody gives you a word and then like ministers to you, you say, that really bless you. That really minister to me. I really bore witness, but you see, that's all Christian ease. Yeah. What does an unbeliever use when, gonna, when it happens? Kind of yeah. So he goes up, he goes, that, you know what you said in there. What you said in there really, really. Hit home. Touched and me. I realized. He doesn't know what to say. He doesn't know the shorthand language for this thing. <laughs> and I don't want to tell him because it's, it, it won't make sense. So he says, yeah, yeah it meant a lot. I said, yeah. Well, we're praying for him. That's what you're on the So, Thank well, you, I want Jesus. you to know this. You get this whole thing with North Korea going on with Kim Jong Un. Do you understand yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Donald Trump in his little tweets. He's crazy. People are freaking out in Washington. Yeah. They're all saying, Can you do it? Can you do it? talking about, I have a detonator on my desk and I can use it at any point in time. <laughs> Never in the history of American politics has there ever been a political person who would ever respond to that kind of abrasive taunt. Except Donald Trump at 2 a.m. after like, after <laughs> <sitting down. laughs> he speaks back. Oh, this is like you know, some crazy quote like, is this from, you know, poverty stricken, malnutrition North Korea trying to tell me a message? Well, someone should tell him that I got a bigger butt on my desk and mine works. Let me tell you something. What are you talking about? People, I'm in Washington now, so I'm up there in Washington a lot. There's people crawling all over the place, North Korean people, trying to understand what exactly he meant. Because they've never had this much confusion dealing with American diplomacy, and the shocking conclusion was, whatever he tweets is actually what he's thinking at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> there is no other message. That's it. So I go See, back and I'm reading Isaiah 45. The Lord says, 
Trump didn't want it. He did not get involved in Blight it. And humble. Like the trade. That's what he wants to do. As far as he wants to go, just deal with trade. But he's got, but the Lord's got his hand on him for the present global order of things. Yes. Now it says here, whose right hand okay. the Lord of Cyrus whom I've anointed, whose right hand I have held to subdue nations. Okay, to this. I will loose the loins of kings. You do a, a study in the glory, Hebrew glory, and read another glory. translation. To loose the loins of kings means to undo their military capacity because kings have their sword on their belt. Oh, yeah. So to loose the loins of kings means to pluck the belt of offensive capability off their waist. Nice. For those of you that are not applauding, here's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm recording. Donald Trump is a unique answer to prayer. When I was doing this yes. conference and my Breitbart, uh, former Breitbart journalist comes up to speak, I had uh, I had been in a state of mind where I was like focused on, we really need a breakthrough, we really need a breakthrough. And he got up and said something as a fairly new convert that was interesting. He said, I'm gonna make the point while Lance is talking about we need a breakthrough, I wanna talk to you as a Christian community and tell you what's already happened and what you've done is historic. Thank you. So while you're praying for something to happen, something has happened. Yes. Now here's the interesting thing that I wasn't aware of. You see, all the uh, polling that picked up on the uh, Trump is behind, I mean, even his office was on the scene of that. But something interesting came out. There's 25 million people in the United States that are called sage cons. They're spiritually active, governmentally engaged conservatives. 25 million that weren't on anybody's data list. Nice. And somehow, the Good. influence of intercession yes. mobilized them in 24 hours before the vote to do an unprecedented yes. thing. We've never had this community in yes. the Christian community. I never knew that. In a governmental move. 88% all, without talking to each other, went and pulled the lever in the same direction. Nice. 88%. 